Hello, everybody, and welcome to Real Madrid Hub, your source for Real Madrid news. And unfortunately, more bad news for Real Madrid, um, you know, in this preseason. And there has been good news and bad news, but the bad news has continued in the sense of, uh, you know, we do still have some uh, lingering injuries and we do still have, of course, now uh, positive COVID tests. Now, Karim Benzema was one of those positive COVID tests that was now not able to participate in preseason and is in doubt for at least the first game of La Liga. But now that is also the problem because David Alaba, our newly arrived center back and potential left back, has also tested possible, po uh, positive for COVID. And that is a big deal uh, really for Real Madrid in the sense that this leaves a lot of issues with the starting lineup defensively. Uh, so ideally, from what we're hearing is that Ancelotti's ideal defensive back line was going to be with Carvajal as a right back, David Alaba and Militao as center backs, and Ferlan Mendy as a left back. The problem with that situation is that Dani Carvajal is still recovering from an injury. Uh, he is still, you know, he is already back training, but he is training on an individual basis. So the person that is going to be the player that is going to be uh, basically, you know, standing in for Dani Carvajal will be no other than Lucas Vasquez. Lucas Vasquez, who also is coming back from an injury, but has already played in the preseason. You know, he played against Rangers had a good season last season, you know, stepping in as a right back. So he will start most likely at the beginning of the season. And then in addition to that, the only other players that are, are available are Nacho. Uh, as a center back is only Nacho, essentially, uh, that is at 100% because Militao is still on vacation after Copa America and will probably most likely you know, he will reintegrate with the team, but he will have issues because he will not have a full preseason. So essentially, he's kind of, you know, up there, you know, until he gets back into the groove of things. And then as a uh, on the left back side of things, uh, the issue is that Ferlan Mendy also has an injury that he is currently recovering from. And of course, the only other players there are either Marcelo, who hasn't shown uh, really any good form for quite some time now unfortunately even though he is a legendary player we do have however Miguel Gutierrez so that is what it's looking like for Real Madrid that they're going to have to you know sort of play with this makeshift back line until Alaba gets back and Carvajal gets back and Mendy so we're essentially looking at that the start of the season is probably going to look like Dani Carvajal as a uh, sorry with Lucas Vasquez as a right back with Nacho and uh, Militao a Militao that it will most likely not be in full form as our center backs and with either Miguel Gutierrez or Marcelo starting off at left back so that is the situation Nacho at this point is essentially considered somewhat the third center back on the list with Alaba and Militao being the first choice center backs. Um, so Nacho now, as has been his, you know, everything throughout his career essentially, is stepping up at the moment when he is needed. And am I worried about that? Not so much. Nacho has demonstrated that when he needs to step up, he definitely can. But the problem is that we are sort of facing a similar situation to what we were facing last year with issues with COVID, and issues with injuries, not a good way to start off the season for Ancelotti. But that is essentially the news I have for now. And that is how we're going to start off the season with all of these issues. Um, and that's pretty much it. So make sure for more Real Madrid news, you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned here on Real Madrid Hub.